Hey guys, it is currently 3.36 in the morning on June 7th and we're going to go ahead and talk about the 1st through the 6th. Um, I've been meaning to update you since the 3rd, but we've been in the middle of a ton of storms so I haven't been able to do a lot of editing on the PlayStation so I didn't want to risk a whole bunch of work in progress videos building up, uh, so I just held off for a while. But we'll start with uh, the 1st <laughs> for the first video of June here or the first work in progress video of June. Uh, generally, when I start a new month, I always start with the first book in my list of projects that I work on, which is generally uh, The Gang War. But right now I'm going through some stuff with that series, so I didn't start at the beginning. Instead, I started with Graham, which is book two of the Killer in Training series, and I wrote 120 words there. Um, and then my next book is normally Voice of the Wild Places Z, which is like an adventure um, treasure hunting book where they were looking for the lost city of Z. Um, and I love that book a lot, but for right now I'm shelving it. Um, trying to translate the concept of the treasure hunting from an Uncharted game, which is what inspired, inspired that series, has been incredibly difficult. Translating the idea of a video game to a book has been difficult, both because there are, are concepts that you can't take from a video game and put into a book, and because they follow different beats and different storylines. It's the same as trying to translate a movie directly into a book and stuff like that. Um, I have written books inspired by video games before. I've written a couple ghost stories that were inspired by Beyond Two Souls. Um, I've written something inspired by um, Murdered Soul Suspect, I think is what that one's called, and I began something once upon a time that was inspired by uh, Until Dawn, and those worked out pretty well, but with Uncharted it's a another level of difficult, <laughs> for me anyway. Um, I have ideas on how to better understand that translation from video game to novel, but I'd like to wait until I have a little less on my plate first, because right now I'm still preparing for the release of Letters from Madman in August, and I still have some editing to do, I have cover designs to do, book formatting, ebook formatting, I still got a lot to do there. Um, but then I edited a work in progress video on the first, had a doctor's appointment for more blood tests and stuff like that for my thyroid. Um, edited one chapter of Letters from Madman when I got home, which was 1,598 words. And then again, Letters from Madman is a crime novel that we'll be releasing at the beginning of August, if things go well. <laughs> um, I headed to bed, and when I woke up it was very, very difficult to focus on much of anything. Uh, but I did manage to edit another five chapters of Letters from Man Man, and that was 5,421 more words there. Uh, so for the first, since the only book I actually wrote in was Graham, I wrote 120 words there. On the second, I was still having a pretty hard time focusing on anything, so in an attempt to keep my brain focused, I spent the morning switching back and forth between writing and gaming, which is normally writing for six minutes, gaming for six minutes. Generally, that process keeps my brain very focused, um, because if I get um, very into the game, my timer pulls me out and gets me back to writing, so I'm not dragging it on there, and if I get stuck in a scene, sometimes the gaming resets me. Um, and if I start getting tired, because generally when I'm having a hard time focusing, it's also very easy for me to just, like, conk the hell out. Um, the gaming tends to wake up my brain a little bit, which is appreciated. <laughs> um, so with that process, I wrote 2,208 words in Pittman's Legend Valiant Fighter, and then it was much later in the morning, so I was back in my mom's room, um, for the desktop computer, because that's where that is. Uh, 252 words in King of Darkness and I didn't say it, but Valiant Fighter is book four, I think, of the Jamal Pittman series, um, and King of Darkness is a supernatural hellish novella, hellish being the title of the series. Um, that one follows Lucifer. The other book that I have written that is a hellish novella is Man of Darkness, which follows um, Miles the Reaper, Grim Reaper. I uh, wrote 692 words in Rowan the Healer, which is a romance novel headed to bed, slept in, I didn't really sleep, but I was in my bed. <laughs> I have had a terrible time sleeping recently. 
Um, woke up with a really, really bad headache. I was still absolutely exhausted, but I did manage another 790 words in Rowan, which brought my total for June 2nd to 3,942 words. On the 3rd, I started with Letters from a Madman, edited 9 chapters there, which was 9,835 words edited. Headed to bed, woke up, edited four more chapters of Letters from Madman, which was another 6,554 words, and then I wrote 532 words in JTS uh, scene rewrites. If you are new here, there are certain books that I don't uh, write the titles down for. I just use letters, sometimes numbers, depends on my mood. Um, to symbolize what certain books are about, either because I don't want to get people's hopes up if they've read any of my other books and it might be about a new character from one of those books or something like that, and in case it doesn't work out I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Sometimes it's that, sometimes it's just because I prefer to keep it to myself. Um, but that's what JTS is. Um, for the fourth, I wrote 1,702 words in the JTS scene rewrites, 1,226 in TE, headed to bed. Uh, it was storming pretty heavily towards the end of my sleep there and uh, after I woke up, so progress was slow. Heavy rain, very heavy and bad winds, uh, thunder, we lost a couple trees out here. Um, it was very storm heavy. <laughs> um, but I did edit two more chapters of Letters from Madman, which was 4,264 words. And between JTS and TE, I wrote 2,928 words on June 4th. On June 5th, it was storming all morning. There was a little bit of thunder, very little rain. It was primarily lightning storms. Uh, but we lost power around 3 a.m. and got it back around 6 or so. Uh, we were without power for almost three hours. I had seen around like 5.45ish the uh, line power company, whatever they're called, linemen maybe, coming down the road. Um, so I would assume that the lightning storm knocked down a power line or struck a power line or something um, because, you know, most of the time you see lightning and then you hear thunder, you know, X amount of seconds <laughs> away and then the lightning comes again periodically in between that. But with the lightning storms, it's, like, consistent. Like, if you watched the window, then it's constant flashes. It's never dark outside because there's just so much lightning. And that's what it was on the 5th. So I would assume that lightning hit something power-related down the road a little ways um, and knocked our power out for three hours. But when the power went out, all of my devices were almost dead. I had just plugged them in, my tablet was at like 20%, my phone was at 30%, and my phone's battery died like crazy. Um, and this one, which is my grandma's old phone that I use for like notes sometimes, uh, was also very low and I was using it as a flashlight because it, I don't have any lights out here except for ones that you need electricity for. Um, so. I couldn't work on any of my books <laughs> that are on my tablet or my phone because my device would have died that way. Um, so instead, I got out one of my notebooks and I started writing a new book. I don't have a title for it right now, but I have written a few pages of it. Um, got this one, these ones, and this one. <laughs> um, and roughly, that was 1,006 words, roughly. Um, there are 32 lines per page, and I write an average of 8 words per line, so I just multiplied those by the end count, and that's roughly 1,006 words. Roughly. Um, and then when we finally got power back, I moved around to Books and Badges, which is a crime slash romance novel, and I wrote 382 words there, headed to bed, woke up late, edited two chapters of Letters from a Madman, which was 2,517 words, and with all of my written stuff together, I wrote 2,024 words on June 5th. On June 6th, I edited 10 chapters of Letters from a Madman, which is where most of my focus went that day, um, and that was 15,139 words, and that was the completion of edit 7, which I didn't write down, so I'm going to do that right now for when I finally transfer these notes over to my planner. Um, but then I recorded and edited a Days Gone video, 
uh, that I had meant to record on the 5th, but since I didn't have power, I could not. Um, wrote 734 words in Books and Badges, headed to bed, and then when I woke up, I didn't do any more writing. Um, I woke up around 9.30, I think, and generally it takes me a little while to get back into the flow of writing, but I don't write anymore between um, 11 and midnight. It's my break period. And by the time I finally felt like I would be able to write something, I was in that break period. So I decided to just continue sticking to my guns there and uh, s just took a break for the rest of the night, which is okay. Some nights I write less than others, some days I write more than others, and both are okay. <laughs> but so far, June has been okay. Um, I'm on track to hit... 60,000 written words by the end of the month so far. I was also on track last month, but I failed, um, which is okay. Again, some months go better than others. Some months are more drowned by pain and stuff like that, um, so I don't get a ton done, but I'm confident in the way this month is going so far. I will say that on Friday, um, I started an anxiety med, which I'm very excited about. Um, but it also doubles as a treatment for chronic pain. It's used for both of those things. So I'm excited to see what that does and how it affects me <laughs> and my abilities to accomplish a lot. Um, I used to be, fun fact if you're new here, I used to be someone who would write 100 to 300,000 words a month, give or take. Um, and now most of the time I'm struggling to hit 60,000. Um, that's how it was last month anyway. And the month before that I was pretty worried I wasn't going to hit 60,000. Um, and that drastic decrease in my progress and my um, productivity is contributed to multiple factors. Some of it is my anxiety. If I have a bad day because of something I've seen online, it does drastically affect the cognition, <laughs> I suppose, of my brain when it comes to translating words from my thoughts to, I would say paper, but in this case it's tablets, keyboard, and it jumbles up all my thoughts pretty bad, and that's definitely an effect on how some of my days go. I have chronic pain. I have for the last two or three years, roughly, give or take. That's just an estimate. I don't remember when my pain started. That is just the first time I saw a doctor for it. And that's the only basis I have for when it began. Um, it's pretty bad joint pain most of the time. And some days it's worse than others. Some days it's an okay day. But that affects how many words I can produce and how long I can function uh, day to day. How long I can function sitting in front of a screen day to day. And um, I have an underactive thyroid, which also affects how my days go. Although I am on medication for it, uh, your thyroid can kind of just bounce back and forth between what the hell it wants to do. When I went and saw the rheumatologist in April, my thyroid was unbalanced again for blood tests, and I had been meaning to get back into the doctor to get my levothyroxin upped so that way it would be normal again, but when I went in for my blood test this time, it had evened itself back out. So I fluctuated between those without any change in medicine, without any change in anything. It just chose to tank itself for a while and then chose to fix itself for a while. And it's exhausting. <laughs> um, it comes with symptoms of pain, exhaustion, uh, foggy mind, confusion, um, and it's just a back and forth constant trying to work through you know, the day-to-day -day life of what the hell is it going to be when I wake up this time. Um, and that does drastically affect how much I'm able to accomplish in a certain day or a week or a month, but despite that, so far June feels good. Um, I'm hoping that the anxiety meds, once they really take effect, help me with the anxiety brain part of things as well as the joint pain side of things because my thyroid has been primarily balanced since July of last year, so almost a whole year at this point, um, and I still suffer from chronic pain. So if it is thyroid related, it's not only thyroid related, which is the rheumatologist actually is the one who recommended the um, 
anxiety meds that are also used to treat chronic pain. Two birds, one stone. And I have my fingers crossed for good things to have in there, but in the end we will see. But that is all that I have for the first work in progress video of June. Hopefully you guys will see it while it is still June, but we'll see how things go. But that is all that I have for this one. If you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. And if you like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the gaming videos I upload roughly every Friday, or anything to do with channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages as well as links to my social media are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.